Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I received my October Ipsy bag and I'm gonna go ahead and unbox it for you guys in just a minute. But I wanna tell you guys, please stay tuned till the end of this video because I have a huge surprise for you guys and you don't wanna miss it seriously. Like. I'm talking about a bunch of makeup you're gonna wanna have. And I also have some tea to spill about this October Ipsy bag, okay? First off, you usually read this card when you unbox your Ipsy. So, I'm reading here, and remember, they changed the price from $10 to $12. But what it says here on the top, I will make sure I put in here somewhere, a zoomed up image of it so you guys can see it and read for yourself. It says, your five glam bag products, in parentheses, worth $50 plus are in place. Give a round of applause for your all-star cast. Here's everything you need to know. And they, they don't even list the price. It's just a bunch of products that, you know, that's in your bag. You guys can't see it, so it's gonna be a surprise. <laughs> I know it's a little far away. So I was like, interesting, you know, they upped the price to $12 just because they said that they were gonna jam pack your bag full of stuff that was worth a lot more. I was like, okay, that's fair, $12, it's only two bucks, but since they made a promise of $50 plus, because in the past, I know your products were probably worth, I wanna say like $5, because they were a lot smaller samples. So anyways, I decided to do my own little research. Let me go ahead and unbag this for you guys, and I will spill the tea as I go on, what I have here is my little note. Let me go ahead and unbag this. First off, we have the Believe True Cream Aqua Bomb, which honestly, you guys, I paid full price for this, which is $68. And at first, I didn't, I don't, wasn't crazy over the smell, but now I love the smell. Honestly, this stuff changed my skin. Like, I used to have really bad skin, like little pimples. They weren't really like pimples, they were popules is the name for it. I'll put it up somewhere around here. When I started using this, and seriously, like, the change in my skin right away was outstanding. So I was pretty pleased to see this in my Ipsy bag. And as you can see, it's not all the way to the bottom. It's got like the little opening. Anyways, I did my research on this, and it says, I went on Sephora.com. It says, believe the true cream. On Sephora, their mini size is 0 0.84 ounces, 25 milliliters, and it's worth $22. And that's for the mini size. Remember, 0.84 ounces. So this one is 10 milliliters and 0 0.83 fluid ounces. Pretty big drastic change from 84 ounces and 10 milliliters compared to 25. I think it's fair to say this is worth $10 because their mini size is $22. On to the next product is the Hanna Bliss Foaming Cleanser, which I already tried today and worked really well. Like if you don't want something that's too drying or too like moisturizing, like this was perfect. Like I actually really, really enjoyed it. I liked it a lot. I didn't feel like my skin was tight at all. So anyways, moving on, I went on their website. It's got CBD in it, which is really cool. And I know you don't know this about me, but I'm very pro weed, the devil's lettuce as my fiance calls it. Like I just think it's amazing and I'm so glad here in California it's legal because I've taken advantage of that. <laughs> That's my little secret but anyways and it's got CBD and Korean herbs and it contains less than 0.3% THC so I just wanted to let you guys know that. Online 120 milliliters is $40 and this is only 30 milliliters so this is four times smaller than the $40 one okay it's fair to say that this is $10 okay so this is only $10 so doing the math I wanted to see the tea on this I was really interested next you got a brush right here and it's pretty soft of course I uh, used a clean hand to touch it it's pretty basically sterile and it's got a cute little I'll show you a close-up it's got like little 
red hearts on it. It's got like a B for Betty Boop for the theme of this month, which I was kind of disappointed in because I was waiting for like a cute Halloween bag. And what does Betty Boop have to do with Halloween? Anyways, moving on. I don't think there's anything online about this. I think it's fair to say this retails for eight bucks. What do you think? It could be less. I'm sure they buy, they get these in bulk and I'm sure the manufacturer, it only costs them like $2 to make. They sell it maybe for $8. So I'm not really sure about that, but I think that's a fair estimate on the brush. The next item I have is the Kalito Cosmetics Diamond Foil. And online, it is 0.11 ounces, and it's $6.50. Remember, 0.11 on their website. This is only 0.09 ounces. My estimate is it's probably about, I want to say, $4.50. I think that's fair. Space Coast Cosmetics. I'm getting 80s vibes from this packaging. <laughs> Not really crazy about it. The Space Case cosmetics online there's 3.5 grams and they have it on their website for nine dollars this is only only 2.5 which i think is fair to say that this is worth seven dollars i'm going to go ahead and swatch this for you guys because it says space case cosmetics and it says seen from space so this is supposed to be like a blinding highlighter as you can see, I have not put any highlighter on my face whatsoever because I wanted to try this out because if it's seen from space, it better be blinding. You guys aren't going to believe this. The total for everything, all the products in here is $39. And I think I actually was pretty fair with some of my estimates. I made sure like it sounded fair. And What do you guys think? Do you think I was pretty fair with my estimates? I think so. So the total is $39. That's $11 cheaper than, well actually more because they said that the total in this bag was gonna be 50 plus. So maybe $51, you know, 52, 51, 50, I don't know. But $39, come on, like and you're gonna raise your price and this is your first time sending us out a bag that's, you know, supposed to be worth 50 plus like I think they should have went out of their way a little bit because I feel like I'm not the only one that did a lot of research on this okay I was pretty disappointed in that it makes me kind of want to cancel ipsy I just feel lied to you know yeah the bag's cute but I'm not really Betty Boop kind of person what was this like in the 1940s I don't think anybody references Betty Boop anymore so this whole bag I'm like really disappointed in honestly the only thing I'm excited about was that cannabis foam cleanser and the belief aqua bomb because I just love it so much let me go ahead and swatch this seen from space space case cosmetics highlighter for you guys and what I like to do is take my finger a clean finger of course I'll zoom in on here you'll be able to see as you can see I'm wearing no highlighter I'm going to go ahead and put it on my cheekbones like I usually do. Ugh, I already don't like the shade just because today I'm like, I have like a bronzy look on. This kind of looks bronzy, but it's showing up on my skin as like silver. Can you guys see it? I mean, honestly, it is really bright and it's, it is pretty. I just wish it was more of like a gold color. I do have a ring light on right now. Underneath my ring light, it is pretty blinding. Let me softly try and blend this into my bronzer. Anyways, go ahead and put this on the other side. I want to match up. I'm going to go ahead and put that on the tip of my nose also, because that's what I do. Oh, I'm not really digging the silveriness to this. Go ahead and place it on my chin a little bit. I usually put it up here, but I don't think I want to do that. I also brought a brush. It's a pencil brush. This is the Sigma Pencil E30 brush. So I'm going to go ahead and place this right underneath my brow bone. What I like to do is, <laughs> is lick it a little bit and then go in there. I don't know, I'm pretty pleased, honestly. Honestly, like it is pretty blinding. I'm going to go ahead and lick it again. My mouth is clean. I brushed and I used mouthwash. When I do this, don't think I'm going to get some like eye disease and fungus. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put it in my inner corner. 
what do you guys think about that? That's about it. So I used the Cannabis. I loved it. I already used the True Cream Aqua Balm, and you know what I think about that. I'm pretty pleased with the highlighter, but like I said, I wish it was more of a gold tone. I'm very disappointed in the Ipsy bag, as you know. Anyways, let's stop with the negativity, and I want to talk to you guys about something very positive that I'm so excited about, and I can't wait to show you guys. As you know, the last couple of months, I've been doing a giveaway with each of my beauty subscription unboxing so I didn't do that in this video as you can tell because at the end of the month after my Sephora play unbagging I'm going to do da -da -da -da, a giveaway for you guys a huge huge giveaway so one of these products of course one of the ones I haven't used is going to be placed in this box also and if you didn't see my boxycharm check out that video and one of those products as well is going to be placed in this box and along with my Sephora play an item from there is going to be in this box also you guys this is so heavy and so jam-packed full of products like such high-end products like I've been putting stuff in this box for seriously probably the last like six months right here you got hair care I got eyeshadow brushes this is the Lux, Luxie brushes, which are freaking outstanding. Do your research if you're not familiar with them. Honestly, like outstanding brushes. I love Luxie. But I have enough, so I wanted to share with you guys. This is the NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil. It's like a crayon, like it goes on pretty cool, like a lipstick. Uh, this is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And I got a Kat Von D liquid lipstick in here. I also have two palettes right here. Here's the Pure Cosmetics Sculptor Palette. This is the Pure Cosmetics Midnight Masquerade Face Palette. It's got eyeshadows and like blushes and stuff in it. It's pretty cool. And I got eyeshadows. I also have mascara, lip liners in here, liquid lipsticks, a bunch of different ones. And this is the Tartiest Pro Glow to go. There is more in here also. I will also be doing an unboxing for this so you guys can see each and every product and all the products that I added from this month's unbaggings inside this box you guys it's really heavy and I'm so excited I don't know all the details so stay tuned for my Sephora play unboxing because I will let you know when the giveaway ends for this and I'm so excited because one of you is going to win this box anyways I hope you guys liked my unbagging of my October Ipsy 19 bag and I hope you like that I broke it down and let you guys know the truth of this bag stay tuned for my Sephora play unbagging you guys are going to want to win this so make sure you are subscribed to my channel give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below I love hearing from you guys I will see you guys in my next video bye bye Mwah.